Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at who is in your energy field and why. I'm really excited to look into this. I've been, you know, doing some pretty big clearings pretty constantly these days to try to sort of clear out, you know, people who are really hanging on to my energy. And um, I've been surprised by some of the insights I've been getting. And I'm sure you guys will also be surprised. So I'm excited to sort of lean into this. Um, is there anything else I need to say? Some of these messages I already feel might be surprising. So just be aware, you know, maybe don't watch this if you're feeling, you know, super, super sensitive. I always say that, but that just is a caveat for all tarot. Watch when you're feeling balanced, okay? So we do have three passages from today. Pile number one, we have the sake cup. Pile number two, we have the open heart tincture. And pile number three, we have the Yamaya statue. So you can pick one or you can pick all piles. Just go ahead here and pause the video if you need to reflect. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello, Pau One. How are you? If you chose a sake cup, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I can channel for you. So Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of Pau number one who chose a sake cup? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pau One so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Pal One safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We love and appreciate you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I feel like this person could be kind of compact, is what Spirit's saying. I'm not sure what that means. Short, short and small, like petite. Um, now this person may also have some sort of like shamanic gifts, or they could be quite powerful because I keep hearing the word medicine. But I'm not getting like conventional medicine, although for some of you, maybe this person does work in, you know, healthcare. I feel more like transformation. This person could like art. They could care about the environment or be an earth sign. I do feel for many of you, you've been intimate with this person. Okay, that's coming through. Because I just heard the word, literally, I just heard the word sex. Okay, so um, let's see. Yeah, this person really likes to express themselves. They have like a big sort of air of expression around them. Pile number one, please. Who is in their energy field? Let's start with that. Who? We have enlightenment. This could be a spiritual teacher for some of you here too. Um, even if they're not, like let's say they didn't start off as a spiritual teacher, this person did end up teaching you a lot. So for instance, you know, maybe they started off as like your partner, but all of a sudden this person has taught you a lot about spiritual growth. This could be a very enlightened person. For some of you, it could be um, even a spirit, spirit team member. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You have a lot of people in your energy field here too because I am getting somebody else that you've been um, around energetically, um, around the work sit space. So there, there's like a past coworker or colleague that's holding on to you energetically. This person could have liked to pretend like maybe they were a spiritual guru or a spiritual teacher, but they were actually full of shit is what I just heard. Interesting. Who's in their energy field? Balance. Justice in reverse. You guys have a couple of different people. I don't want to hold your hands here. Okay. So let me just go through these people that I'm feeling. Number one, I feel a spiritual teacher. This could have been someone who is actually a spiritual teacher. Like, for instance, maybe that's like what they do for work. Um, secondly, I feel somebody from your work, from a past work situation. I don't feel like this is current. I do feel like this is a past coworker. Number three, I'm getting a Sagittarius person who created, or Sag, Sag or Libra, someone here who created a big imbalance in your life or who screwed things up. This third person feels romantic. So I am getting three different people coming through here. And for this enlightenment card, this person may be um, like not actually living. So for instance, this, this could just be like a spirit guide. 
Tell me about this first person, please, the Enlightenment card. We have Nightmare, Suffering, Darkness, and Persecution. Yeah, this person could have created a lot of pain for you. Um, and if they're a spirit guide member, I feel like they're actually trying to help you, help protect you. Some of you are getting attacked when you're sleeping, by the way. And I feel like whoever this person is, they're trying to come in and protect you. I don't think that this person is trying to cause nightmares. I actually feel like they're trying to help you, um, especially for those of you who are suffering with nightmares. Because I do think some of you have um, been getting some sort of psychic attacks happening at night. Tell me about this work situation, please, this work person. Why are they in the energy field? We have disturbance, obscure, irritation, supernatural. This person, again, I, t I was just saying this, but I feel like they could have been pretending like they had a lot of, um, like, they were better than you in some capacity. And I feel like now they're very disturbed because they could see you as doing, you know, some really wonderful things. And I feel like there is this energy of jealousy that is surrounding, you know, the way that they're seeing you. This person could also be trying to energetically like hold you down because I am noticing that, you know, the um, back here, how this like, this girl's on his back. So this person could be trying to hold you down from, you know, achieving that success that you know is rightfully yours. So I think for many of you, you would already know this. Tell me about this third person, this romantic person that's creating a lack of balance here. We have stubbornness selfishness, mulish attitude, and arrogance. Yeah, I feel like whoever this third person is, you did have some sort of a romantic connection with them. But let me just tell you, this person is very irritating. And I feel like they irritated you a lot. Like this person was extremely annoying to you. They're very stubborn too. You could have told this person that you needed them to make some changes, but they just didn't. This person doesn't like to listen. They get very, very annoyed when they feel like they're being told what to do. And I feel like you could have um, told this person something or told them off and they really didn't like that. Okay, tell me about this enlightenment person, please. You have medicine mother, mother with honor your inner knowing. The way I said mother, there was almost like Jamaican. So for some of you, this person could have um, Caribbean roots. For some of you, this could be your mother protecting you or a grandmother, an ancestor. I think many of you know that this person is already around you. You could be feeling it intuitively, but this person is just really wanting to show up for you today and to say, hey, you know, I am still here. Um, I feel like this first person is definitely working as a protector. They care about you a lot and they're, they're really um, on your energy field because they don't want anything or anyone to hurt you. Like this person is very, very protective of you. They love you. Tell me about this work, past work person. We have white, which would be the light. The thing is, you guys, this work person could have been, I feel like the second person, this work person could be the person who's trying to attack you, honestly. This person is very, very envious of you. They feel like you guys have a lot going for you yourselves and this person hates it. They really don't like that at all. They wanna be in control. I feel like this person could be trying to like remote view on you. Dang, this this really, this was not what I was expecting. So be careful though about this person because I don't like their energy. I feel like they're quite um, aggressive energetically. Tell me about this third person, please. We have star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. This person, this third person feels very drawn to you, which is why they're in your energy field because they feel like you guys are part of their path. However, I will say that this person, they don't seem to listen to themselves. Like they, they really don't trust their own intuition. And so I think you guys are frustrated or fed up with this person because you see them as someone who's not putting in the work. Tell me about this first person, please, this enlightenment person. We have royalty, pedestal, high vibes, role model, upper echelon. This enlightenment person who's in your energy field could be as well connected to you from a past life. For instance, this could be a past life. Um, what do, how do I say this? A past life like spirit guide, I guess, that's coming with you in this life. Or you could have felt very connected to this person. Tell me about the second person, please. What do we need to know about their energy? 
You have internet searches, background checks, tracking your location. This past coworker is in your energy field because they're obsessed with you. They could also be really like tracking you or trying to figure out what you're doing online. So please be careful about that. And this third person, we have protection in reverse. So this third person, they want to kind of break through your defenses. They feel like you're very protective against them and they hate this. This person does not want you to be without them. They feel very frustrated when they feel like you're moving into a different direction. It makes them feel really, really sad um, because they want to be close to you. This person is obsessed. but They feel like you're very self-protective and that, that makes them feel sad. So yeah, that's what I have, Pile 1. Three people in your energy field. Please make sure that you're periodically going through and cleansing your energy so that none of these issues or people affect you. I feel like that's really going to be a big piece of the puzzle here. I don't want you guys to be affected by these individuals. It's very, very important to protect yourself. But yeah, a lot of people holding on to you, that's for sure. Hello, Pao Tu. How are you? If you chose this open heart tincture, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. Just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. So Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of Pao number two who chose the open heart tincture? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pao Tu so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do for PAL2. Please keep them safe, protected, and guided. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this person could um, live in a city or they could live in your city. I keep getting city vibes around them. Like they really like cities or they like to be kind of in the action. Um, this person could have bowel issues. I'm not even kidding. I don't know why that came through. So they could have IBS or suffer from something with their bowel could be a year younger or a year older. This person could be very like spoiled. They could also like to spoil you. They could live in a studio apartment. I'm seeing button up shirts. Something about this rib, rib cage or your person's rib cage that could have broken some ribs or you could talk about hourglass bodies or something. It could have injured their shoulder. Getting the name Terry, Tamara, Tegan, Sarah, Sean, Eugene, Raphael, Rocco, Rhea. Ooh, yeah, this person, there, then again, this could be more than one person. So I'm just saying what's coming through. Pile number two, please. Who's in Pile two's energy field? Let's take a look. Who's in their energy field, please, for Pile two? We have the two of swords. Nine of coins. Teacher in reverse. Nine of Swords. Okay, this is one person here. Okay, we have the tower on the bottom of the deck. So I will say that this, this is one person. I don't think you've talked to this person for a while. I feel like there's been some sort of a break between the two of you. This could be somebody at some point you thought you were building something very solid with. This person could be a life path nine or born in September. Something could have happened in the month of September. I just feel like there's a shit ton of energy around this person really feeling like there was some sort of very difficult karmic lesson and they're struggling a lot with this. This person could be very selfish or self-centered, self-focused. They really don't like to think about the impact that they're having on other people. However, I will say this, I think that you are... Um, Yeah, I don't know how to put this, but there's this energy of like really feeling. This person feels like you are their person, like they feel very connected to you and they feel very, very sad that you there. there's no more contact here. They could be acting all calm, cool and under control, but I feel like they actually dream about you constantly. They have nightmares about you. This person misses you a lot. They could be a teacher or they could have wanted to be a teacher, maybe a retired teacher. Tell me what else here. This person could um, have a lot of people looking up to them. Like they could run a youth group or something. They might be involved in the church. 
Cow number two, tell me about this person, please. Why are they in their energy field? Oops. Yeah, look, we have coach. Dang, we already have three cards coming out here, so I'm going to take them. You have coach, advice, obedience, and knowledge. You could have helped this person a lot at some point. Um, they could have felt like you were maybe their coach. You were always uplifting them, making them feel good, making them feel better about themselves in some way. This person really misses that. They want to talk to you again. They want to also maybe give you some advice or they could feel like they want to give you some sort of guidance here or they want your guidance. You also have fate, coincidence, fatalism, fortune telling. Um, you guys could have gotten a reading on this person at some point. I will say that this person feels very fated to be with you. They feel very connected to you intuitively. They're having a very tough time um, being apart from you. I feel like this person feels like the two of you have some kind of a deep spiritual bond and this is really a lot for them to handle. Like they're, they're having a bit of a hard time even balancing that. We have justice, equality, neutral, neutrality, and logic. I'm telling you here though, this person was not very fair towards you. I feel like they're kind of self-centered. They could also be receiving some pretty intense karma, which is why they could be in your energy field. They could want you to absolve them or to help them feel better about this karma. That is not your business, by the way. It's really not. I feel like this person, they only think about themselves when they do things. We have Nightmare, right under the nine of, nine of Swords. I'm telling you, this person is very, very anxious about this. Suffering, darkness, and persecution. I feel like this person is having a lot of nightmares about um, this connection. They could also be trying to create nightmares for you. So for instance, you could be dreaming a lot about this person because they're trying to have you in their energy field. This person messed up here. Pile number three, two, ooh, I almost said pile three. Pile two, please, who is this person? Could be a lawyer, coach. A lot of people respect this person, I think, but you you really know this person. I want your forgiveness. How to, please, tell me more. You have Hermit with Retreat and Recharge. Yeah, you are not around this person anymore. There's been a gap here. You've been away from this person in your own energy. This person knows this, they miss you. You have Snake with Shed Old Skin. You could have, this person could be born, first of all, in the Chinese zodiac year of the snake, but you could have also felt like this person was a snake or like they did something here that was snaky. You just feel really annoyed or frustrated by this person. Like you can't trust them anymore. You're really, really just tired. This person could have pushed you through a um, Kundalini awakening. I feel like there's a big shift that occurred. What else here? We have winter, take care of your needs. Something could still happen between you and this person in winter. But I feel really like you guys have withdrawn or, or pulled away from this person's energy because you just don't feel like they're um, giving you enough anymore. And I do think that this person has been tremendously selfish with you in the past. Tell me more. Yeah, we have change of heart. So why is this person in your energy field? Because they've had some sort of a change of heart. They could be wanting to come back in here and to tell you, hey, you know, I've changed my mind. I do want to work on this or whatever. You know, you deserve a lot better than that. So please just keep that in mind. You deserve someone who's going to be supporting you and just showing up for you. We also have gossip came through here. Chit chat, rumors, defamation, tea, discussion, communication, and dirt. You could have recently heard some sort of gossip about this person too that really bothered you or got under your skin. 
And I just want you to know that because I feel like this person feels very um, frustrated and upset about you hearing this gossip. Like, I feel like they weren't expecting you to hear that. You have passion. So again, I think for some of you, you have had intimate connections here with this person. They could be wanting to come back in and to rekindle that. Um, but I also feel like this person has a lot of toxic connections with other people and they're just like very, I don't know how to put this, but very ungrounded. And I would just be, be mindful here that you don't let this person throw you off, but they are in your energy field because they want to come back in, I feel. Um, but I would just really trust your intuition because I also pulled throwing salt on your name. So this person could be talking shit as well. So, you know, you don't want to have someone in your life that, that is like that. I feel like that's not really fair to you guys. So please proceed with caution, I guess, is what I would say here. But yeah, there is one person very strongly. I think you'd be surprised. Like, I think for most of you who um, picked this pile, you know that this person is around you as well. I don't think it's meant to be like a big surprise at all. Okay. Pile three, how are you? If you chose the Yamaya statue, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. I'm just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy. I'm just going to go ahead and connect. One second, please. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number three who chose the Yamaya statue? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you keep Pile 3 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day, throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, this could be somebody that's culturally different than you. I feel like they had a lot of empty promises. I'm also getting a spirit team person as well, okay? So that's already coming through. I feel like you pray for this person or this person has prayed for you. Someone here could play football. Someone here could have broken a finger. Someone here could like to drink. I'm hearing the name Ollie, Brian, Samuel, Taryn, Angel, or Angel, uh, Angelo, <laughs> Angelo, Angelo, Chris, Christopher, Leon, Elizabeth. This person could also like to flex is what I'm hearing. So they could be like a bit of a bragger. Felix could be a name here. Someone wants to take you out on a date. How number three, please. Who's in their energy field right now? Please, who, who, who? Nine of Swords, okay, we already have someone stressed out. All three piles got this kind of energy. We have the High Priestess in reverse. Oops, we have the Four of Swords. We have the World. Okay, getting a Pisces person coming through right away. I'm getting a Capricorn person coming through right away. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, this person with that Nine of Swords coming up first, that's a very clear in inclination, I think, that there's been a lot of stress and panic around this connection. I feel this person feels very left out of your life and they feel very stressed. For some of you, you just have not been talking to this person like they want you to talk to them and they're very stressed out about this. It makes them feel sick to their stomachs. Like literally, this person could have stom stomach problems. The High Priestess in reverse, I feel like this person, you know, feels like you're very intuitive. You could be very much in your own energy field. And they feel very stressed out about this. Like um, they want to know what you're up to or what's going on in your life. And they just feel very like stressed out that you're not around them. I feel like this person could have been keeping a lot of secrets from you and you could have found out and you're just feeling annoyed or angry. I also feel like you don't really know what you would say to this person anyways. Like this person has no idea how they would, how they could even talk to you. Like they just don't know what, what to say. Like they feel very scared about this. And like they're not even sure how to have this conversation with you. A 
with the world card too, it could have been quite some time since you've heard from this person or this person is feeling like the pressures of time are really crashing in on them and it makes them feel very scared. This person could live at a distance too. Like they could be in a different city or state or province, country even. What else, please? Why is this person in their energy field? Thank you. We have imagination, variety, fantasy, and mind. This person thinks about you constantly. Some of you guys are fantasizing about you in a sexual way. They feel very, very attracted to you. Um, they also like to imagine what could have happened if they had just made different decisions here. Of course, they can't really imagine that because it's not the truth. We have indulgence, interaction, joy, and friendliness. This person could have indulged in a lot of different things, other women, other men, drugs, alcohol. I feel like they really are in your energy field because you were one of their biggest indulgences. Like your energy was such a treat for them. This person feels a little bit like an energy vampire. And so they could have been taking that um, into in their own mindset. Like this person could have wanted specifically to pull on your energy in that way. We have friendship, team, connection, and network. I should have said this too, because for some of you, I do feel like this could be as well a friend who hasn't talked to you in a while here. I'm noticing three here, like three threes. So, you know, this could be two other people. Um, you guys could have been in a connection with like a group of friends. Or again, this could be someone who's got third party energy around you. But why is this person in your energy field? Because they miss you essentially. They want access to your energy. They feel like it's important to them. What else, please? We have endulcement. I don't even know what that word is. Is that an actual word? Persuasion, bribe, and temptation. Yeah, this person wants to apologize. They want to apologize here for um, making some sort of bad decision or bad choice. They feel really stupid about the whole thing. This person feels like you're very disappointed with them and angry. And they want to try to convince you. This is why they're in your energy field. I want to try to figure out how can I convince them that I, I didn't mean it. Or how can I convince them that I wanted to do something differently. We have seer. See beyond your current situation. This person may also want to come to you for psychic advice. I feel like that's something that you need to know. They could want to come to you for some sort of advice or clarity. They want information. But this person knows that they, they, yeah, we have Oracle, wait for important information. You could have helped this person a lot. You could have helped guide this person into clear waters. You could have helped guide this person into more peace, more stability. We have warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Yeah, this person, is very attracted to your energy. I feel like they see you in this really big way. Like they feel like you're just one of a kind and they want access. What else, please? What else do we need to know, please, regarding this person? I feel like they kept a lot of secrets here from you. You could have been really annoyed. Yeah, look, we have complete mind F. This person, this person is not a healthy person. I will say that. I feel like they like to be around you energetically because they feel like you help them have peace of mind you help them have peace of clear peace of like clarity you also have heartbreak betrayal loss pain and ending so whatever happened between you and this person it was not easy there was some sort of a major um issue here that i think had to come up into awareness and this person they want to sort of fix this. We have blame game. 
I also think that this person is not really ready to take any accountability, unfortunately. So they're kind of in the energy in your energy field, but they don't really seem to have any intentions to actually make changes. I feel like this person just wants things to go back to this the way that they were without actually putting an effort. So yeah, that's what I have, Pile 3. I hope you're well. I'm sending you guys a big hug. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.